In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can add all of your events from one Google Calendar to another. Basically, I'll show you how you can change the owner of your Google Calendar and have your Google Calendar on a new account, right? So here's my basic Google Calendar that I just created for this video. Do stuff, more stuff, and even more stuff. And I'm going to change the owner of this calendar, basically. So what you wanna do is go to My Calendars, then go to your personal calendar where all of your events and stuff will be. Then click on the three dots, go to settings and sharing, and then you wanna go ahead and scroll down and here you should see share with specific people or groups. You can then click add people or groups, and then you can then add an email here. So I'll just share with this email of mine, bradleyharrison54 at gmail.com. In permissions here, you can give yourself the permissions to make changes and manage sharing because you want to obviously change your calendar to a new email, right? So you want all of the permissions, then click send. That will then send an email to your new email address. So I'm just gonna open my email now and I'll show you. So here is that email. It just basically says that I shared a calendar. You can then go ahead and add this calendar to your new account. So click add this calendar. So then I'm gonna open up Google calendars again. However, I am logged into my other email. So I'm just going to go ahead and log in to the correct email that I wanna change it to. So now I've logged into that email, I'm going to go back to the email that was sent and then click add this calendar again one more time. Now it keeps redirecting me to my normal account because this is what account I'm normally logged in on. So it will probably be best to open it in a new incognito window and then sign into your new Google account. So I'm just signing into my new account now. Okay, so now I'm signed in, it's redirecting me to Google Calendar and it should then invite me to the new calendar. It looks like it hasn't, so we'll go ahead and click on open link in a new incognito window. Here's my new account, and here you can see we are adding the calendar, so click add. And there you go, it's now added my calendar, which I can now view. Now it's added all of the fields and events from the previous calendar to the new email, so that's how you do it. I hope that video did help you out. Let me know if you've got any questions in the comments.